In today's video, we are going to look into this tsfill command. And what this command is used, it is used to fill the gaps uh, in the data with the missing values. So let's just say you have an unbalanced panel data and you want to convert it into uh, a pan balanced panel data. Uh, then this is the command that you are looking for and further if you have a time series data and there are certain uh, missing years and you want to create those years and then fill those missing values uh, using some method uh, then this is what you are looking for uh, but before we move forward uh, i have given the link uh, of this do file in the description uh, and the also the data file link is also in the description so uh, so let's load the data. So this time we have this time series data and let me show this data to you. We have different number of years and uh, we have this GDP growth over here. So the year starts from 2010, then we have 11, 12, 13, 14, but we do not have 15. Then we have 16, 17, 18, but 19 and 20 is missing. So what we want is we want to create a row over here and two rows over here and, and that those rows should not have any values. So it so, so we need to have a row that would have 2015 in this year column, but the GDP growth uh, cell would be missing. So this is uh, where we are going to use the T as fill command, but uh, I would just show you the menu. Uh, for the menu, you would have to click on statistics, then go to time series, uh, setup and utilities, and then there is fill in gaps in time series. And this is also used for obviously panel data. So we just have two options and this is what we are going to look into. I would rather use the command line to, uh, to explain this, uh, this task. So before we use this tsfill command, we would have to uh, set our data. That is, if our data is time series, then we would have to tell Stata that our data is time series. Uh, and the way that we do is uh, we use the tsset command and then the time variable name. So in this case, our time variable is year. So we use tsset year. So this tells Stata that our uh, data is time series data and it starts from 2010 and 2021 and we do have gaps within them, yes. And let me show you the data. Now we are just going to use the tsfill command. We don't need to have any options or we don't need to give a variable name. As we did tsfill, remember there uh, 2015 was missing. So it created a row and filled the year column with 2015. But the GDP growth remains missing. And if there were other variables, they also would have remained missing, right? Uh, similarly, it did it with uh, 2019 and 20. Now, uh, we have created these missing values. We can use multiple options ways to fill this missing values that is not the topic of this video but i would just use this ipolate command which would uh, interpolate the gdp growth based on year and it would generate a new variable called ipolate gdp so we have um, filled the missing values over here or we could have simply drag these uh, you know the previous values to the next values so we would want this uh, where, wherever there is a missing values we would want stata to copy the previous non-missing value over here so for that we would have to sort it based on the time variable in this case it is already sorted but you should sort and then we would use replace gdp growth uh, it should the, the the so replace gdp growth with gdp growth previous value so this n minus one means previous value we can use l dot uh, that would also be the same if uh, if the gdp growth value is missing so whenever there is a missing value replace gdp growth with its previous value so it is not to say that you should always do it like that that depends on the scenarios uh, normally if we have stock prices and uh, we just have the data 
when the stock is traded then we can use this op this this specific uh, way but uh, that depends uh, how you would want to fill the missing value then there is this full option and this full option only works with the panel data so we would have to have this panel data over here so i have loaded the panel data we have different firms three over here three different firms and we have different years of data so if we look over here the firm a data starts with 2010 and ends until 2017 but they are missing uh, values like we do not have 12 13 all right but uh, the second firm's data do not start with 2010 but it starts with uh, 2005 and again within uh, these values we do have missing value like we do not have 12 and then we do not have 14 but it ends till 15 it do not end till 17 and then there is this third firm that starts with 2016 and ends till 2019 it do not have any missing values within them between them but obviously we do not have the values of uh, 2005 6 and 7 so what we would want is we would want to create a balanced panel data and if if you are familiar the unbalanced panel data is when the different entities do not have exactly same number of years or exactly same years of data or exactly same time period of data in balanced panel we would have each entity would have exact same uh, years of data so so from one would have uh, data from say 2005 till 2019 from two would have data from 2005 till 2019 and the same, same goes for the firm three but this isn't the case over here so we would want to convert this unbalanced into balanced panel so first before using the ts fill command we would have to tell stata that it is a panel data the way we do that is using the xt set command so we use xt set the uh, the panel variable and then the year var time variable so now stata knows that we have a panel data and it is saying that it is an unbalanced panel data okay so what we want to do is we want to do ts fill i would first do ts fill and then i would show you the 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 full option so remember what ts fill did is it uh, as we did with time series data it simply created different rows where the year was missing so here 2012-13 uh, was missing so it created the row but for the third form if you remember there was no uh, missing uh, link between the years so it started with 16 and ended with 19 but uh, we can do this but this is not the thing that we are currently looking for we want to have a a balanced panel data so we would just uh, redo the previous command so we have a fresh copy of the data i would use the full option and what this full option would do it would take the minimum year in this whole data which is 2005 and the maximum year in this whole data whole data set which is 2019 and it would create <coughs> rows where uh, even the previous values are missing so remember the uh, the data for the first from started from to 2010 we didn't had 98765 but before because other firms had that year um, the second firm had that that years so it created those years with the missing values so now we have a balanced panel right although the values are missing but we will look that uh, into that uh, so if you remember the third firm only had uh, data starting from year 2016 till 19 so it, it didn't had all these years uh, right uh, sorry all these years so strata created these years for us and if i were to show you the xt set command 
should probably say strongly balanced because now the data set is balanced okay so now we need to fill these missing values and uh, one of the thing that you already know is we can use somewhat similar command like we did over here and we can fill the missing values so let's replace stock prices with the previous stock prices if the stock price is missing and as soon as we do that what happens is that uh, 17 and 18 was uh, sorry 18 and 19 was missing so it replaced the values of 18 and 19 with 2017 value but what happens over here is the second firm end till here and the third firm would start over here but uh, what it is doing is it is keep on filling the missing value with the previous value irrespective of the um of the entity right what it should have done is uh, it should have copied this 129 129 till uh, the second firm end and should have left all these values uh, blank and the reason is because we didn't uh, tell stata that we should uh, do that for each firm and let me just get the again the fresh copy of this data and then do the ts fill full option and now we need to use the buy from option and what buy from would do it would recognize that we need to apply this command for each entity so we do not need to overlap the values to another entity now you would see that this one to nine isn't uh, you know copied all the way to the other entity because we have told it to apply this command uh, over each entity but what if we needed to fill all these previous missing value because this n minus one this command what it does is it takes the previous value um, it, it takes whatever is missing it would be replaced with the previous value but over here we didn't have any previous value right so the 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 way is to use gs sort and what it would do is it would sort based on firm in ascending order but we have used minus year and if you haven't seen my video on gsort and sort uh, go to my channel and there is a video over uh, uh, that is related to the sort command i would give the link in the description and what it would do is it would sort firms in ascending order but years in descending order so now years in is are in descending order and we can again apply this similar command and it would drop these values down but there is uh, another shortcut for all this uh, this copying data uh, downwards and that command is called carry forward so let me again get the uh, sample data and now instead of using this all replace stock price is equal to stock price n minus one what uh, and then telling it that if it is missing then you should replace it i'm simply using going to use the carry forward command and it isn't a pre-installed built-in command it is an ssc install command so you would have to install it using this this command over here so what carry forward would do is it would take stock price and carry it forward so let's demonstrate this but for now i'm just using the generate option with the carry forward so we generate a new variable instead of replacing the current values so buy from carry forward stock prices so it would carry those stock prices forward right as the name suggests but again we are left with the previous values okay instead of generating a new a variable we can also use the replace option and then that will replace the current variable stock price and if you were to use uh, to fill these uh, you know starting missing values then we would again do g sort firm and then year in descending order and now we would carry forward the price right uh, so we haven't done this extensive uh, overview of carry forward this is just 
a tip of the iceberg uh, i would probably do a more extensive video on carry forward but do subscribe to my channel and do hit the bell icon